Kathleen Hartnett White stammered, sighed and sat silent for seconds on end on Wednesday throughout her Senate hearing to be confirmed as the new head of the White House's Council on Environmental Quality. It was an unusually tongue-tied performance for someone who has been a bombastic critic of climate and environmental science. The former Texas environmental state regulator turned climate pundit has argued that carbon dioxide has none of the attributes of a pollutant, dismissed it as a harmless trace gas in plant food, and compared Pope Francis's public advocacy for action to curb global warming to the Catholic Church's arrest of Galileo for heresy in 1633. She equated the belief in the overwhelming evidence that man-made greenhouse gas emissions are warming the planet to paganism, and accused United Nations leaders calling for climate action of advocating totalitarian communism. Hartnett White deflected those quotes as taken out of context when raised repeatedly by Democratic senators on Wednesday. In a nearly three-hour-long hearing on Wednesday, Senators probed Hartnett White and Andrew Wheeler, the former coal lobbyist nominated to be the deputy administrator at the Environmental Protection Agency. Both nominees reject the science behind global warming and have close ties to industries that stand to lose the most money from regulations to curb climate change. Wheeler, a former legislative aide to Senator Jim Inhofe, R. Oklahoma, couched many of his objections to climate science in polished, ambiguous legalese, which has earned him a reputation among environmentalists as a competent operator capable of dismantling Obama-era fossil fuel regulations. But Hartnett White who Senator Ed Markey, D. Massachusetts, described as a fringe voice that rejects science, economics, and reality withered under intense questioning from Democratic senators. She struggled on five separate occasions to defend her rejection of mainstream climate science. 1. I am uncertain no, I'm not. She fumbled when Senator Ben Cardin, D. Maryland, asked if she believes climate change is real. I am uncertain, she said, then corrected herself, no, I'm not. I jumped ahead. Climate change is of course real. Then she said she's uncertain about the extent to which humans are to blame. Cardin, would you rely on scientists to give you that answer or not? Hartnett White, no, I had that question for a very long time. A very long time. Cardin, you have a distinguished background in academics, in humanities and religion. Which is fine. It's a wonderful field. You're not a scientist, are you? Hartnett White, no. I'm not a scientist, but in my personal capacity I have many questions that remained unanswered by current climate policy. I think we indeed need to have more precise explanation of the human role and the natural role. 2. I have a very superficial understanding. Oceans absorb about one quarter of the carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere each year, according to data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The increased CO2 causes a series of chemical reactions that result in higher concentrations of hydrogen ions and more acidic water. It's a widely understood process, ably explained on NASA's website for children. Yet when Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, DRI, asked whether she was aware of anything that is happening in the oceans that relates to fossil fuel emissions, she said, there are probably a number of them. Whitehouse, name a few. Hartnett White, I have a very superficial understanding as far as that. But acidification issues is one. I have not read widely or deeply. I have read some, different perspectives, some of which suggest that it is a very very fragile set of changes in acidification. I have others that say for long eons of geological history, certain places of certain oceans may have changes of acidification levels and not others. Changes up and down are not inherently a problem, but I cannot speak with authority on that. But I'm aware it's among the multiple key issues of the impacts of man-made global warming. 3. I have no knowledge on those issues. Senator Jeff Merkley, D. Oregon, asked pointedly whether Hartnett White considers the the mass deaths of coral reefs, in events called bleaching, to be an environmental problem. She dithered, noting that it would be if that were true. I have no knowledge of those issues, she said. 
I know it is an issue, but I have no specific knowledge.